Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian here at the Heritage Foundation Think Tank in Washington, D.C., where we're talking to Bruce Klingner, uh, who is the expert on all things uh, North Korea uh, here. Uh, we had a great conversation. Uh, you should check out the interview about uh, uh, North Korea's missile test overflight over Japan. Japan, what to do next as an international community. But there's also a very, very important question. You're a Game of Thrones uh, fan. Uh, Game, of, of Game of Thrones is, is uh, I, I understand, it's a pretty popular show. Mm -hmm. So if you were going to categorize the North Koreans, where, where do the North Koreans fall on the, on the Game of Thrones uh, uh, character list? Well, admittedly, this gets a little geeky, but uh, I'd say, you know, the, the response to the North Korean missile uh, launch would be uh, not to bend the knee and go into negotiations, uh, also not to rush into a preventative attack and prematurely send dragons uh, into the, the combat area, uh, and that instead we need to maintain our alliances and expand our alliances and, and maintain a, a strong defensive wall against uh, North Korea. If, if we're thinking of which kingdom it is, uh, I might say it's the White Walkers, the, uh, the the threat from the north, who are now slowly moving their way south, uh, and they have developed new weapons. So, uh, I'd, I'd say the White Walkers. Bruce, thanks very much for that thoughtful analysis. <laughs> well, again, it's a bit geeky, but that's what analysts do.